Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about six important UIT testing interview questions and also I will be providing detailed answer, especially if you are attending any UIT testing role or any UIT roles, then this video will be very useful for you. Then we will move on to the first interview question. In what way the UIT testing differs from other testing? UIT testing is an, also an, another testing. Normally, tester will be doing various kinds of testing in their development phase. Then wh what are the things it may differ? If you talk about in a single line, uh, the main difference between the UIT and other type of testing areas, in UIT testing, which will be conducted by the end user, are a client that is a major difference between any other testing and the UIT testing. Then the second question is what is the basis for UIT testing? So I'll be providing a three important basis for UIT testing. One is user needs. We will be more concentrating on the end user needs, end user expectation, end user experience. Then the second is acceptance criteria. When the project has been handed over for implementation, that is the time we will also define an acceptance criteria. So that needs to be met when we are performing UIT testing. That is the second basis for the UIT testing. Third is business processes. Normally, UIT testing will be purely done how the end user is going to use the application. On that basis only, the complete UIT testing will be performed by the end user are the client team. These are the three important basis for UIT testing. So what are the important reasons for business user to carry out UIT? Is there any reason? Is there any rationale is there in case UIT is not performed? Then there are chances of higher risk, higher issues might find out the issues by the business user when we are going to deploy the application or the product. Second uh, important reason why business users to carry out the UIT is the business users the great ability to use the application. Then the third business user has a great system knowledge. Because these are the people have given the requirements where they are able to identify the system behavior. If there is any normal or abnormal behavior, they are easily able to find out the issues. The next question is, what question would you ask if you were asked to carry out UIT testing? You are the one of the UIT specialists and you wanted to perform UIT testing for a given application or in a product. Now, being an UIT specialist, so what are the questions normally you will be asking to start the UIT testing project? This is the question. Then I am going to explain what are the basic minimum question you should ask to the various stakeholder to get the enough information so that you can put the right strategy, right planning for UIT test. What is the overall goal of the project? This would be the first question you should ask being a UIT specialist to get to know more information about that project. That is the first question you should ask. The second question is who are the various stakeholders who are involved in this project? You should clearly have a clarity who are the stakeholders which you need to work upon to ensure that you have the right information as a UIT specialist to start this project. Then the third question is you should also ask in what phase or what stage that development work is going on for a given project. That, then the fourth question you should ask here is what is the tentative date which stakeholders are looking to perform UIT. This date will be a more of a tentative one. You should also check what are the development methodologies being used for this project. Either it could be Agile or Waterfall model or any other implementation model. Seventh is what are the various inputs or contributions has come from the stakeholder so that you can take those inputs as well whenever you are planning for UIT testing plan or a strategy. So these are the some of the important questions or queries you should ask for starting UAT phase as a UAT specialist. Then the next question is, can we do UAT testing in parallel with the development team 
or development work due to delay in the development. The development manager or a project manager, they may ask the UIT specialist to perform the UIT testing in parallel with the development work. Then being an UIT specialist, you should not agree for it and you should answer in this way. Running a UIT in parallel with the development work is purely a waste of time and effort because during development, every day things will change hence it is not always recommendable to work on UAT in parallel with the development work that is the first thing you should convey to the development manager or a project manager then also you should clearly convey what is the entry and exit criteria for performing UAT that you should clearly define and get a signature or sign off from the all the stakeholders so that they won't be asking this question to you again and again last question is why can't tester itself does the uat because testers are anyhow the expertise in testing and various testing techniques for this to answer you should tell the what is the purpose of uat the main purpose of the uat is where business expertise business user to test the application using the process being used by their day in day out as a end user or a business user Business users or end users will have a great expertise on how the new system will work and how to use those systems. Also, they will have a clear idea how to use the application, how to use the new system and how to recreate any issues which normally as an end user will face during their day-to-day -day work when they are performing. UIT testers will know they just test the based on the requirements or based on their experience but that doesn't give a hundred percent accuracy when compared to end users end users will have a clear expertise in terms of uh, how the overall application or product functionalities will look like and how the application or product can be used on regular basis and how we can find the issues as an end user testers brings a different skill set and uat specialist will bring a different set of skill set hence it is always recommendable to perform uat by using uat specialist only not by the tester i hope you got a clear idea on these six important uh, interview questions which normally they will ask in most of the interview question if you are attending for as a UAT specialist. I hope you guys really like this video. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel, then do click on subscribe and click on bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.